Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we're going to talk about a variety of topics, but this first topic, we're going to talk about the upcoming incentives and promotions for the brand new Tesla Model 3. We'll take a look at why I personally think there's going to be some fantastic promotions and incentives for the newly released, the vehicle that just came out not too long ago, the brand new redesigned re-engineered Tesla Model 3. So we're going to get into that plus a variety of topics, but typically this is where I usually run my intro really quick, but my name is Dennis and uh, thanks for jumping in everybody. Uh, and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check out Patreon link down below in the description. So right now on the Tesla Model Y, there's fantastic APR financing. There's 0.99%, but all the other vehicles, all the other Tesla vehicles, Model 3, Model S, and Model X, there's not as many good promotions at all. Not even good inventory discounts. But taking a look at this post, shout out to Tesla Chan for posting this. This is a list of the majority of low interest rates by country promoted by Tesla. The US is due by the end of the month, so the Model Y ends up. But all these other countries have some fantastic rates. So in Japan, Model 3, that's Japan, right? Model 3 and Model Y, we will drive of 0 to 0.99%. We've got uh, UK Model Y at 4.99%. We got Germany Model Y long range of performance at 0%. So no interest at all. This is Sweden, right? So Sweden Model Y long range at 0.74%. China market, that's the market where they are going the most heavy and most aggressive, which makes a lot of sense because there's a lot of different inventory there. Model 3 and Model Y, zero or zero down payment. Oh, this is a fantastic one i think zero down zero percent financing is much better uh, when you compare it against a zero down payment but maybe that's because some people don't get approvals and so they'd rather have that zero down payment and then model y we've got 0.99 percent apr for the model y but that's only from 36 to 60 months 72 months is 1.99 percent and 84 months is 2.99 percent so here's why i think a model 3 incentive is coming very 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 soon. If we take a look at inventory charts, right? really, I think a incentive across all the different models is coming very, very soon. Because if we take a look at all the other models, Model Y, or sorry, Model 3, Model S, and Model X, the purple line is Model X, pink line is Model 3, and the blue line, which you can barely see because it's the same inventory level as the Model 3 line, which take a look at this. Look at how much increase the Model 3 has over the past like month or so. We can see Model 3 inventory is going up at a pretty fast pace and Model 3 inventory is already higher than Model S inventory. And so this is where we already start to see like Model 3 already has some discounts for the brand new one like these right here on the screen. We've got about a $1,000 to $1,200 discount. So we could easily see if Model 3 real world drive starts to add into more inventory pretty soon, maybe we'll see some bigger discounts or maybe we'll start to see some promotional financing rates for the Model Model 3 real wheel drive and long range. Model 3 performance doesn't really need anything at the moment because Model 3 performance has delay issues, production issues, and delivery issues, or at least delays, maybe not issues. And so certainly there's a lot of demand for the Model 3 performance because the Model 3 performance qualifies for the full 7,500 federal tax credit where the other ones don't. And so Tesla really doesn't need to do much to try and incentivize the Model 3 performance. So maybe we could see some zero 0.99 or 1.99% action on the Model 3 all long range all wheel drive in the real wheel drive, which that could become a very interesting situation. Like what if we get into a situation where it's going to be essentially about the same price for a Model 3 long range and a Model 3 performance because of the tax credit. You can see as you can see right here on the screen, 42740 and 42490. But what if the long range has 0.99% and the performance does not have 0.49%. It's got like 6.49%. That could be a very interesting split between both of the vehicles because that I could easily see that coming up in the near future. Here's another post from Troy Tesla. Quote, the reason for these deals is not that Tesla sales are great, but because Tesla wants to avoid another bad quarter in terms of deliveries. Deliveries, deliveries below 400K would be very bad and I don't expect that to happen. However, the data so far suggests that deliveries will be well above 466,000 of last year's quarter two. Therefore, not that great. 2020 
expect to be the first year we see a decline in Tesla yearly delivery. So this is to explain why all Tesla is pulling out all the different stops to try and deliver as many vehicles with all these different incentives. But it's not just Tesla. A lot of the other manufacturers are doing a lot of big discounts as well. We'll talk about some of those later on in this stream. But certainly, people are all the different companies are pulling out all the different stops out there. Shout out to Nick for posting it. There, there's our plenty of people taking delivery of the Model 3 Performance. Pearl White with white coat. Multi-coat looks amazing. You can see Model 3 Performance is finally start to de starting to deliver. I bet now they're probably up to like a couple hundred at this point when we certainly were at like a stall of the Model 3 Performances. And then here's another post. There is these new rims that came out for the Model Y, the silver versus the black ones. But this is a good point because what if you're just paying $500 for the cap to be still black instead of silver? I hope the rims are also going to be black underneath as well. So, okay, here we go. So here it is. You can see this is the newer version. I guess it's like a little bit darker, more like gunmetal versus like the older version that's silver. So it's like a gunmetal with a black cap on it. So maybe that's worth $500 because either way, if you're going to be penny spending after you take delivery of the Gemini wheels to paint them black, you're going to probably spend about $500 anyway. So maybe that is a good deal at the end of the day. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking.